So this is a little sling lens set I got last year. If you look at my previous videos, you'll see a video for a single and black chrome set. That set was advertised for sale online. When I went to look at it, this was sitting on the floor in the garage next to it. Before the guy could even ask about making a deal, I was already thinking of it and uh, we worked something out. Now it's, um, I believe it's like probably a mid 60s. I'm not positive about that. It's got the gold and black badge with the chocolate interiors. Um, but the snare that was with it is a Shelbyville badge, which they only made um, snares in Shelbyville, uh, 65 and 66, I believe. Um, actually, it was one year through 65 and 66. So I'm not positive if this just came a three piece, a uh, snare, tom, and uh, bass drum, as they did back in the day. They used to just sell the three piece and you could buy the floor tom as an add on. Um, anyways, this one didn't come with a floor tom. So I searched, you know, the, the last year, I searched high and low. I couldn't find a matching floor tom for it. So I had a floor tom uh, kicking around. I finally decided to rewrap it and I uh, showed a glimpse of it in my one of my last videos. It's a really cool set. It's uh, Now it's got the 16, so it's a uh, 14 inch snare, 13 inch tom, 20 inch kick, 16 inch tom. Um, it's in really great shape. Whoever took, whoever owned it took care of it. Um, there's very little fading on the wrap. There's no scratches on the wrap, no gouges, no nothing like that. Um, I haven't, I, I did strip the set and clean and polish the wrap. I cleaned uh, all the chrome. Um, I haven't done the snare yet, honestly, because I just like the way it sounds and I'm afraid of uh, messing with it. So it, I'll pro I probably will clean it up eventually, but sometimes they just um, they just sound good as is. Uh, and then you, you take it apart and clean it and you never get it quite to where it was. Um, so I'll, I'll probably tackle that later on. It's just for now, I'm gonna leave it as is. So I'll, uh, I'll get you guys up close to it so you can take a look at it and I'll play it a little bit so you can hear it. So as you can see, the floor tom matches perfectly. Um, if I didn't say anything, most people wouldn't even know. But the original set was in just such good shape. As I said, no scratches or scuffs or anything like that at all. All the chrome and wrap just needed a really good cleaning. Even the hoops were in good shape. As I said in the previous video, I re-glued the inlays and that's about all I did to them. This is the, the Slingelin gold and uh, black badge. And the snare is a six lug with the Shelbyville badge. It just sounds really cool to me anyways. Uh, it's got a really dry, fat sound. So I just put the the front head that came with it on the bass drum and the heads uh, that were on the 13 back on it had ambassadors top and bottom. So I just mashed up the floor tom with ambassadors top and bottom and the kick drum of PS3 that I had. And the snares just got the old um, worn out one that was on it, but it's really cool. It's got um, the Manny's music stamp and I got a bunch of heads with uh, stamps from different music stores all over the country it's just a really cool thing like old school thing that music stores used to do they're awesome like I said I have a bunch of them from all over the place so I just paired it with uh, some 70s Zildjian's I have and I am using my DW snare stand and iron covers, but I did bust out this really cool Premier flat base stand. They were like the only only company really to put some thought into the design of it. Looks wise, usually they're just utilitarian looking. They did the job, but this one just has a really cool look to it. I wish I could find a few more. And I'm sure I can. I just uh, 
It's not a priority. But anyways, that is the set. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And take care.